what's going on guys you know I, I, I was sitting here for a good five minutes before I pushed the record button because I was just thinking through my thoughts you know and I just want to kick it I just want to kick it I just want to relax because I was just laying down after I decided not to do any more reactions for the day because um, I kind of started to get a, a headache um, because I was just thinking about some things. Now, first of all, I'm going to tell you guys what I'm going to talk about in this video. And if you decide to leave the video, you don't want to hear about it. That's fine. Um, that's okay. But if you stay, I promise you, this could be a very entertaining video, right? With no music in the background. <laughs> but anyways, I am laughing because I think this is going to be a funny video. I also think it's not a reaction. I also think that my thoughts on this probably not going to surprise you, but at the same time, it probably will for some people, um, my stance on this. Now, um, I was laying down watching some reactions of my favorite anime to watch reactions of which is Naruto, just to see how people, you know, if they had the same reaction as I did when I saw that for the first time. Now, um, I noticed for all of the reactions that I was watching for the different channels that I was watching, they all plug Patreon like crazy. Like, they don't hesitate. They shout out to their Patreons, whatever. Now, I decided to check out some of these Patreons, and I was very surprised to see something. And I see this becoming very pro problematic in the near future. Right? So, let me address the topic at hand. Now, I went to these Patreons, and one particular, um, one particular channel had a Patreon with over four thousand patrons patrons right on this channel now let's go through the tier levels let's go through the th the tier levels i'm not going to tell you guys who this channel is um because i'm not here to call people out you know what i'm saying i i'm, I'm subtweeting right now you know what i'm saying i'm i'm subtweeting i'm not calling nobody out i'm not calling no names i'm just talking these are facts what I saw right um, over 4,000 subscribers they have a $3 level a $5 level and a $10 level and a $20 level now um, let's talk about what these levels are offering right at the $3 level it's just for support just like on my channel just for support you don't get no perks no nothing it's just for support you want to support the creator fine three dollars at the five dollar level you get the edited edited anime reactions edited anime reactions now i'm probably not describing a single one this is probably very common among the anime reaction community channels on youtube right very probably across the board this particular channel at the five dollar level you get the edited version the ones that they put on youtube that's what you get but you get it a week early so you get early access a week early right of these reactions you get it a week early right at the five dollar level now at the ten dollar level you can get the full uncut reaction on Patreon, right? At $20, you know what? Let's just stop there because that's where the, um, that's where all the perks end. Basically you go to the $20 levels. It's basically just, um, you get a shout out. You can choose what they watch next, all of this 
goody stuff with the twin dollar. It has nothing to do with the anime reactions, really. Um, you know. So, what I found myself becoming very jealous. Now, hold on. Public service announcement right now, okay? Public service announcement, guys. You've heard me say this multiple times before. Me, Terabyte Reacts, will never switch up on y'all. Y'all are my subscribers. I will never put reactions behind a paywall, at least not with it showing. When I when I'm do it, and when it finally gets over there for early access on Patreon, whenever I decide to do that, it's probably going to be a timer. It's not going to be the ones that you're watching now. I'm paying for that. I'm paying for my reactions to be on Google Drive. You're not paying for it. You get what I'm saying? I'm paying for that on a monthly basis. I'm paying for that space to put my reactions on, and I give you guys access to it. So, as I said, found myself becoming... A little jealous and that's the reason why I really got up and said let me make this video so I put this on record because I don't want to make a split this I don't want to make a a um a decision on oh you know they're making this ton of money now at the base level of this channel that I'm talking about having over 4,000 subscribers let's just square it off and say it's 4, it's over 4,000 almost 4,500 pay patreons right at the base level say for instance everybody's just supporting them which you know that's not the, the thing right everybody's just supporting at a base level three dollars right that is twelve thousand dollars a month guys twelve thousand dollars a month right twelve thousand dollars a month at the five dollar level twenty thousand dollars a month at the ten dollar level forty thousand dollars a month right now i'm looking at that and i'm like damn i'm not even pulling that in my business what am i doing with my life <laughs> you know what i'm saying i'm not even pulling that in my business dude and i'm just i'm, I'm talking about like on a bait on a bait I don't want to tell you guys too much about my streams of income but I'm talking about like main business that I get up to go to every day I'm not pulling that in profit maybe in sales but in pure profit like net income hell no you get what I'm saying and these dudes are sitting down watching reactions and and people are me calm down let me let me calm down you know what i'm saying let me calm down as i said i find myself becoming very jealous because patreon is something i could have easily done long time ago you know what i'm saying It's something I could have done and didn't give a shit if y'all want to pay for it or not. But I do give a shit because my integrity. You get what I'm saying? It's my integrity. Right. And all this. I just want you guys to know. That my integrity, my. My morals would never let allow me to do something like that for gain okay now that i've addressed that i've looked i looked at some other channels you know i've looked at channels that are smaller than me three thousands you know three thousand lower even a thousand subscribers just hit just able to monetize their content they have patreon hundreds of patreons already offering full uncut reactions of anime on patreon now the other thing that i want to talk about and i don't want to say this person's name on my channel i talked about this person on the live stream because it's less likely that people will sit down 
and to look for me talking about this person in my live stream. But here, this is a small video. They could possibly find me talking about this particular person. Now, if you guys have been up with the news on YouTube about reactions, there's this one particular person that's been in the news. All the YouTube news channels are talking about her pretty much. I don't think the bigger ones like Scarce and um, Kavos and, and uh, like the ones that are in the millions. I don't think anybody that's in the millions that has millions of subscribers as a YouTube news channel are talking about this particular person. But there are some smaller ones um, that are talking about it that has huge impact. You know what I'm saying? This person is having Twitter wars with people, even having a voice actor from the anime community addressing her. I mean, it's getting out of control. And I'm saying this to you guys because I feel like there's a tsunami coming and the anime community, anime reaction community on YouTube is going to get hit like a ton of bricks. I feel I think it's going to come. I'm hoping, I'm praying it doesn't. But I feel like, and the reason why I feel like it's going to come is because this per this particular person that I'm talking about is obvious that this person is a narcissist. And when it comes on to narcissists, it's they only think of themselves. They're very egotistical. They don't back down. When they think that they're right about a situation, it's very hard, hard to convince a narcissist that they're wrong. They just believe that they're right. And you, you, no matter how much you're telling them that they're wrong, even when the law says they're wrong, they still think that they're right. That's what a narcissist will do that. You know, that's not the definition of a narcissist, but I'm just putting it into perspective for you, right? Hmm. Yeah, so as I said, I think it's getting out of hand and I think the anime reaction community is going to get hit. I'm hoping it doesn't. I'm hoping it dies down, but because this person is not backing down, people just won't forget about her. You get what I'm saying? People are not forgetting about her. Uh Anyways, I'm making this video in particularly to, you know, I'm just letting you guys know from now, if you watch this video, if you're watching this video, just know that this brother here, this brother here, Terabyte Reacts, that tries to do things the right way all the time. I don't always do things the right way. You know, but I try my best to remain and remain and retain my integrity. If that sentence make any sense, because now that I said it doesn't, it doesn't really make sense. Remain and retain. The hell does that mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um. Yeah. <laughs> so. I will, you know what I'm saying? Like for the most part throughout my whole life, I've really held my integrity intact and to not screw people over, you know, because I don't like being screwed over. So I do my best to not do it to others. Have I ever screwed over anyone? Yes, I have. For spite, <laughs> for spite, because I didn't like the person. I'm not... I'm not going to sit here and make it seem like I'm just this perfect angel that never does anything wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've done wrong things. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I've done things that, I, that I've that i regretted. I have done things to people that I've regretted in retaliation because I'm the type of person that always waits for people to do shit to me. And then I retaliate. I'm a very vindictive person by nature, which is something that, um, which is something that I don't like to admit, 
But if you screw me over, I'm more than likely to probably try to screw you back over. Um, that was my nature back in the day. As I said, I'm just describing a situation like I've, you know, I'm not sitting here making it seem like I've never done stuff out of that is not within integrity. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just describing, I'm not saying that's the person I am now because I have grown so much since those days when I, when I was in my twenties and, and, and just, you know, by all, by any means necessary, you know what I mean? But now, you know, when I reflect and stuff like that for maybe like the, probably the last, I want to say five, maybe seven years. I've just been on this tier of just like, yo, honor, honesty, integrity. You get what I'm saying? So I'm not going to sit here and make it seem like I've never done anything bad to anybody before that they didn't deserve. You know what I'm saying? I've done things to people that they didn't deserve. Off of just because I didn't like the person. Yes, I was that, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That is not who I am now. People, I've grown up. I have changed out so much about myself. You have no idea. And it's because of lessons of learning things the hard way that has really, really put me in a better spot today in life. You know what I'm saying? And to just be a better business person, to be a better person in general, you know? Um, so yeah, you know, it's just that I always, the, the thing about it is that when I, when I, back in the day when I did stuff, I always ended up feeling shitty afterwards. <laughs> I always end up feeling so shitty. I was like, yo, that was grimy, dude. You know, when you're having that conversation with yourself and you're like, damn, that was, that was grimy. I didn't have to go that far. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because as I said, I was a very, very vindictive person, man. Like I didn't like when people messed with me. You know what I'm saying? I would get you back in the worst ways without physically harming you. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I was that guy, <laughs> you know, but I'm not that guy anymore, you know? So, and a lot of those people I've gone back to and apologized to. I didn't, you know, you didn't want to mention that, but, you know, it's like making amends. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people I've called up and be like, yo, I didn't have to go that far, bro. Um, one of my closest friends today is somebody that I've really done something really grimy to. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, call him up, apologize. You know what I mean? Just be the be the bigger person cuz sometimes that person did something to you you retaliate you know what i'm saying but sometimes you can admit that you went too far you know what i'm saying for years me and this person didn't talk because of you know what i did and i took responsibility for it i was like listen man life is too short for me to be carrying on baggage and all this baggage with me you know what i'm saying you know, I, I I forgave you a long time ago. I don't know if you forgave me, but I'm calling to let you know that I took that shit too far. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, for some of them that I've called and apologized to, you know what I'm saying? We had our cry session over the phone or in person, whatever the situation is. And it is what it is, man. Sometimes you just have to make those amends because sometimes people, sometimes people are waiting on you to apologize. Sometimes people are waiting on you to make up with them so they so they can move on or you can move on or we can move on together, whatever the situation is. Some people won't forgive you for what you did, you know, and that's OK. As long as you forgive yourself, that's the main thing, you know. So I just wanted to let you guys know, as I said, man, this probably end up being an entertaining video. Nonetheless, you know, I, I was just I'm, I'm just kicking it with y'all. I'm just kicking it with y'all. But anyways, guys, that's all I have to say. 
you know, I just wanted to get this in video format, my confession out there to you guys. So just in case you see me doing some shady shit, you could be like, nigga, you said, you said you wouldn't do that shit. Okay. I don't, I, I, people can call me out. I don't care. You can call me out. You can call me out. We're a community. You can call me out. I'm the leader of the community. You can call me out. There's no problem. It's no problem. If I'm wrong, if I said something and then went against it or whatever the situation is, um, maybe I, you, you know, I'm not going to make any, any excuse for it. And that's why I said, let me put it because I was really getting in my feelings watch looking at these, pa um, people's Patreon. I was really getting in my feelings. I was like, yo, why am I not doing this? But then when I think about it, I'm like, that's really not me. You know what I'm saying? But I said, let me make this in a video talking to you guys about the situation so you can use this video as a reference. If I throw some some stupid ass shit at you later, you can call me out and be like, remember this video, Terabyte. Remember this video. You said you're canceled now, okay? You're canceled now. <laughs> Anyways, I'll catch you guys later, man. Like the video if you like the video, whatever. Leave your comments in the comment section. Subscribe if you're new, if you're watching this. And you're like, what is this nigga talking about? Whatever. I'll see you guys later, man. Bye.